Hello everybody. So it is currently uh, Monday morning at about 11 a.m. I am only about three days away from, well, the day where I can read, 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 and never stop reading uh, for my Christmas break. I just have one exam on Thursday and then after that I can read whatever I want on the bus and that just leaves me about a week before I go home, but whatever, that is when I can begin my epic um, reading TBR pile. Okay, so I have two. Um, I have the Christmas related ones, which I'm going to be doing first, obviously, to be in the mood for this holiday season. And then the other ones are just ones that I really want to read and want to bring home. So yes, let's get started. The first book um, I don't have with me yet. I'm hoping to find at a secondhand bookstore this week sometime. It is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I've never read this before. I've actually never read any Dickens. And so I think, what better book to start with? I'm planning on reading more of his in 2015, but that's in a video to come later. The next book that I'm going to read is My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Holiday Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. I am sure so many booktubers are going to be reading this this month. Uh, I know Bissette is, Ariel Bissette, and some others. Why can't I think of them right now? My mind's gone blank. But anyway, this is uh, 12 short stories, um, Christmas-themed by some of your favorite authors. Well, some of my favorite authors anyway. That I discovered this year. But yes, I'm so excited to read this. It looks really good. Um, the next two books that I'm going to be reading that are Christmas related are The Two Dear Canada Diaries, A Season for Miracles, and A Christmas to Remember. They're, this one's 12 Tales of Christmas. This is, I don't know how many uh, Tales of Christmas, but they're all by the Dear Canada authors that I just love so much, and I just can't wait to read them. I'm so excited. I've read like maybe one a year. Maybe I even read both last year, and I just don't remember anything about them, which is good. It's great. I'm really excited. And I've never written reviews for them before on Goodreads because I wasn't doing Goodreads last year. So that is exciting. Okay. The next pile of books. Um, okay. The first two that I will mention is uh, Forge and Chains by Lori Hulse Anderson. Um, I love Lori Hulse Anderson. She's one of my favorite authors. Um, these two books I know are going to be at my public library back home. I want to reread them because the third book in the trilogy, um, Ashes, is coming out uh, just in January. And so I want to reread them. Anyway, I know those are going to be at my library when I get home, and I'm really excited to reread the, re those. I, I read the first one. I didn't read the second one. So that'll be good to marathon them, basically. That's exciting. Okay, the next book that I plan on reading, these next two books are actually um, from my TBR jar. I decided to pick two. Um, the second one I was kind of scared of picking, but I digress. The first one I picked was Thunder Rolling in the Mountains by Scott O'Dell and Elizabeth Hall. Scott O'Dell, I love. I've been meaning to read more of his books because I've only ever read... Um, no, I've read Streams to the River, River to the Sea, which was really good. But my favorite by him, which is one of my favorite books of all time, is Island of the Blue Dolphins. I'll just put a cover right here. Such an amazing book. Just as a side note, you guys should read this. It's really good. It's like better than Pocahontas. It's like Pocahontas, but better. So I would definitely read it. But back to this one. I'm actually not sure what this is about, and I don't want to like take up too much time reading about it right now. But um, it's a short one, so that's good. And I'll be able to, you know... <laughs> it's just, it's part of my TBR pile, so it works out. The next book I was really afraid of drawing from my pile because it's so heavy and I only have limited uh, space available to bring stuff home. But I selected it and went, oh no, but yay, because it is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. This book is a beast. It's it's huge. I, I'm really excited to read it. I've talked about this before. It's about a wo young woman around my age who wants to be um, an author. And the black and the white um, is the alternation, I don't know if that's a word, um, between her life and I think the black is the story that she's telling, or it could be vice versa. And so we get to read her novel as it goes along with her life, and we see the connections between the two, and I'm just really excited to read this. I've never read a Scott Westerfeld book before. So that's exciting. The next book that I'm so excited to be reading is The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. I think I'm going to be buddy reading this with the gal pal back home. Um, just really excited to read this. You know, uh, Russia, based in the First World War, I want to say, and there's romance and devastation, and it's part of a trilogy, and I just can't wait to read this. I think the cover is beautiful, and I love historical fiction, as it turns out. Well, with the Dear Canada Diaries that I've been talking about recently. <laughs> um, I'm just excited to read this. It's been a while since I've read like an adult historical fiction novel. So that's exciting. 
in the last two books, I just decided, I just pulled from my shelf. You can see my shelf's really empty right now. But I just pulled them from my shelf because I know I want to read them. And I'm just going to... Uh, I'm so excited. Okay, the first one is Gloria O'Brien's History of the Future by A.S. King. I'm so excited to read this thing of beauty. I mean, gorgeous. I'm so excited. Um, it's, I, I don't even remember what it's about right at the moment. It's like a girl who has visions of her future or something. Um, with A.S. King, there's bound to be, um, magical realism as there is in all her other books. And so I'm really excited to see what kind of source that'll be. But yes, really excited to read this. The last book that I'm planning on reading, and keep in mind, if I, if, here's hoping that I get books or gift cards for chapters for Christmas, then that just, you know, that, that might change the wind of things, um, at least for January. But <sighs> Heather Dixon wrote this lovely book called Entwined, and I intend to read it this month, finally. The most beautiful book in all the world, in my opinion. I said this before, but um, it's a retake on the 12 Dancing Princesses series. Not series, what am I saying? 12 Dancing Princesses, classic fairy tale. Loved it, loved it as a kid. I will be very interested to see her take on this. So that's all the books that I have for my December TBR pile, obviously. It's it's going to change. I, I don't know. Jeez, that's like one, two, three, four, five. Stick with me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven books uh, so far for this month. I know I did that in August. Um although nothing, not too much was going on in August except working, whatever. Here is hoping that I will get through all these beautiful books. I am just so excited. I've got these. I've got um, some new movies that I want to review that I selected from my TBW jar uh, just the other day. I've got a couple of video games that I want to get back into playing. Mario. Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> on my boyfriend's 3DS. That's going to be fun. Um, I'm just really excited for the holidays, and you should be too. Because it is a great time, um, especially if you're working at the mall like I am. It's actually funner because, like, you know, you're not the one shopping and being in the lines. You're just helping them, and that's fun, and I like helping people. So that went off topic there. But anyway, those are the books. Um, do, have you read, read any of the books that I have scheduled for my TBR? Um, what do you think of them? What do you think of my choices? Um, please let me know if you want to uh, comment and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and take care. Bye guys.